I want to teach people how to get monetized on Facebook. Like everybody have a Facebook account. When you go on your Facebook, you'll see a thing that say dashboard uh, settings. Facebook got different levels. You got like level one through level four. I'm I'm a level four or higher in my Facebook dashboard. So that's what allowed me to earn money. So basically, if you post two times a day or three times a day, you're not going to earn much. But I post recipes 10 to 15 times a day. But what I found out, Facebook is paying me for the views. And sometimes it takes like three days, four days. But when I check my report in my dashboard, I'm getting 50, 60,000 views on the recipes that I post. So Facebook is giving me a few pennies per post. But what I noticed last week or so, they paid me out $3,000 on the 22nd. Because Facebook pays similar to Livgo, but they pay you like, at the middle or the end of the month. And it's basically YouTube. You got to have a certain, certain amount of followers. But like Facebook will walk you through the steps of getting monetized in your um, settings and all that. But as long as you post positive content and you post food, animals, or anything that attract people, you can get paid on Facebook. Wow. Um, cause, <laughs> Did you yeah. say Facebook paid you uh, over $3,000? Yes. That yes. was just for last month. No, no. Actually, last month I made 500 I thought it was fake. And then I kept posting. Then I saw my reports last week. It said $3,149 and some change, which Facebook tells you when you get the money, it's going to be paid out to me on the 22nd because Facebook, their pay system is different from any company. Like you could see all that. You could set up your direct deposit too. Like if you, you know, like a bank or PayPal like that, I haven't paid me to my PayPal. So, but what Facebook does you have to achieve certain criteria. Like you got your level one, level two, and they'll show you the steps. And when you do that, the higher your level, the more you'll make. Because I've seen somebody with 15,000 followers yesterday, they make a thousand, they made a thousand dollars. So it's a certain percent of the followers that keep sharing and viewing the posts that's making me money. You know? Yeah. Wow. Yep. Yep. Oh my goodness. So overall, total, um, how, how much, you know, the, well, the I'll say between last month and this month, I did over $4,000 on Facebook. And that's just from posting because wow. um, my own profile is considered a digital creator profile. You got different types of profiles, but since I completed all the levels, that's allowing me to earn money on everything that I post that Facebook considers good quality. But what I notice when you post food, especially certain types of food that people like, it just takes off. I have posts that go like viral within a few hours, uh, to a few days. Once the posts go viral, that's the post that you make money on. Mm -hmm. Yep. I yep. think I saw one of your posts here uh, this morning that's already like been gone wild. It was uh, something with chicken, chicken and turmeric. And yes, and, you know, so it's yes. very educational. It was very yes. educational. Yes. Yep. I think um, that probably has something um, to do with yep. it going mm -hmm. viral. Um, Somebody asked, is that my personal Facebook? That's my personal Facebook. But since I built up a who's following, I changed it to a digital creator profile. Because Facebook, you can do that in your settings. It's different criteria. Facebook will tell you all that. You just got to go into your dashboard. Like I see you, Kelly, you got a lot of likes on your posts, but I don't know what type of profile you have. So Facebook will pay you based on like, it, it'll tell you if you go into your settings and you complete this task every day, they tell you, trust me, they yeah. will pay you. And so people can go to their, 
settings in Facebook, and that's where yes. you see that da um, business dashboard. dashboard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what it does, it'll tell you like how many people engaged with you, how many people shared your post, like your post, but they will give you different steps to do to achieve each level. So example, like I know um, it's this lady, she's in Lifka, but I think she's a level three, level four. She got 31,000 followers. She's making money. So, so at the same time, you know, like people inbox me, I'll tell them how to do it. And that's all what I do. I follow what Facebook tells me, you know? And then when I, I took it as a joke a few months ago, but then I see that they paying because Facebook started paying people in 2023 come to find out before they didn't do it, you know, but they got like several different ways you can get paid. Like if you do your videos, your videos and all that, make money from that but i don't do that i j i just post like stuff that i know people like and that's what's been bringing a lot of eyeballs on the stuff that i post right. so and e even next month facebook owes me money but i can't see that in my dashboard until they send me that direct deposit because it tells you when they send it to your bank or your debit card i have it go on a separate debit card for my live good money because I, I like to keep my money separate. I don't like to mix everything up, you know? Right, right. Yeah. Um, so settings, dashboard, I do know, and I've like played around with it some. Yes. Um, Facebook sending me a couple hundred dollars a month just for living life. <laughs> uh, so it's pretty, yeah, yes, pretty, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty interesting. Because you posting stuff that you do, and you getting a lot of engagement and views. So Facebook gonna pay you a certain amount, and but it's hard for me to determine. I know they pay you for like a few cents. Because even in your dashboard, I've seen some of the posts. I'm making $57, $70, $40 on some of the recipes. But all that money add up, and it adds up quickly, you know? So, yes. like, it, it, it really don't matter if you have a fan page or a personal page. But I don't even have a fan page like some people do. I post everything on my personal page. I just went over 102,000 followers last night on on Facebook. It's because the followers keep sharing their stuff. Even when I'm sleeping, I'm got a hundred plus notifications that, oh, this person like your post, this person commenting. And I actually reply to some of the comments. I ain't gonna reply to every one because it'd be thousands of them. I'm not gonna do that, you know? It's too much. But you know. Right. So right. Facebook would tell you, like, they actually would tell you in your dashboard how to get monetized. And you could do it within a few days or a few months. But the thing is, it's like building a house. You start small and you grow. Like last August, Tim Miller did a training about marketing on Facebook. I had 74,000 followers, but I kept posting and posting. And you see, I'm at a hundred plus thousand now. So it takes time, you know? Yeah. And like somebody messaged me yesterday, said I'm using an AI bot. I, I do not ev even use no software. I don't, I'm not even a part of no other network marketing company. I'm only in live good. I post recipes as a hobby. I didn't know it was going to blow up like that you know, on Facebook, and then, you you know, then kind of find out Facebook paying me because I'm fully monetized. It's just like, if you ever seen YouTubers get monetized, YouTube, you have to have a few thousand followers before you get monetized. It's the same thing. It's just YouTube is the video streaming platform. That's all what YouTube is. You know, they do, it's two separate companies. They do the same thing. Right. Is, is that so Christopher, mm -hmm. one question that, you know, if I didn't know much about what I'm doing, which I'm learning every single day, I know every day is a learning mm -hmm. Honey, Chani, yes. Um, is how, if here's a question, I think a few people are mm -hmm. going to, they might be wondering themselves, and I'm going to go ahead and ask it for mm -hmm. them. 
how do you get more followers? Oh, the, the key to get more followers is to be yourself, be authentic. But you want to post like you could post animals or you could post you going on vacation or uh, post like your real house, your real car. You don't want to have a fake picture on your Facebook. You want to post um things that people like. Like you can join recipe groups for free like I do. A lot of them will allow you to repost the recipes as long as you give the credit to them. Like I have permission to post a lot of the stuff I post. So, you know, when you post it on your Facebook page or your timeline, that's considered your content because it's on your page. So by that being your page, Facebook is compensating you based on the views and the impressions. So so my Facebook is set to public. So, somebody said they got their Facebook set to private in the chat, but if you have your Facebook on private, you're not going to get that many followers. You have to set it to public. That's just, you know, you sh like most people should know that if you want to get a lot of followers because even some of the followers drain me and live good. Because I post more about the products than the business. I'm just like that. Like I posted about the gummy um, vitamins like four times you, like yesterday when they launched it. But but see, like, you, you know, when you post, the more you post, the more success you will be. It just takes time. It's just you building a pyramid that's small and then you're going to build the pyramid to a uh, Hundred floors. Like I built my live good business. I sponsored what forty seven people into live good. You won't never see me on the leaderboard, but you'll see thirty percent of my team are more on the leaderboard, and in on different countries that pin in a hundred, two hundred people. Do you know, um, do you is know some your guy, numbers? Do you know yeah, your numbers? How many people in your entire organization? Yes, I have uh, over uh, two hundred fifty thousand people in in my organization in live good. But one thing I do not like, you you know, I like I teach some of them how to post recipes, too. But I ain't going to be able to teach 250,000 at one time. You know, that's the beauty you know? of Zoom. We'll pass out the recording. Yeah, uh, we've had some bumps yeah. and humps through the recording, but it's very informative. Um, yeah. So, Christopher, um, as far as. Um, the dashboard on your settings in your Facebook page, it will show you steps. Facebook is so smart. Okay. I'm just yes. Saying. It will show you the steps to click to to get rolling with your Facebook. Getting paid. Yes. And it will show you the steps on getting paid. And yes. would you recommend yes. someone to do these steps or log into your their their Facebook dashboard like every day they got to do that? They well, I, I would say if you like most people work full time, part time, uh, have a busy life, but if you could spend 15 to 30 minutes a day do doing doing it a day, you will be successful. Because before I got sick in the hospital, I had two jobs and still was building my Facebook. But I will do it before my shift start if I have five or ten minutes, and that's it, and be done with it. You know? You know? Yeah. Um, if folks remember uh, my story, I got up an extra hour before I had to start getting ready for school, and that hour was like my marketing time making a quick little videos i did the little kitchen talk videos mm -hmm. and i need to jump in there and do them weekly um uh, yeah so you you when you started live good and, and i know we've had your testimony videos um and we're mainly here talking about uh growing your social media but when you started live good you had three jobs so yes. So you found a way. I mean, really, you. I. Th I think if I'm not mistaken, you can correct me here, which is awesome. Um, you found a way to just tap into the folks that you knew online, right? With that, that with the simple yeah. message. Yes. So so basically, 
I'm getting organic traffic from the recipes that I post. So at the same time, like, I don't know, like, how much Facebook is making from that, but Facebook is compensating me on all the views and shares. So, but, but what I noticed with their reports, it tells you, like, Facebook pays you monthly. They don't pay you weekly like LiveGut. So, so you you know, so when I look at the reports, they'll say 500, then they'll say 1,000, et cetera, like that. So it said 3,000, and I took a um, screenshot of it. I posted it on, on, on my Facebook, you know? And, like, just like how you got a back office and live good, you got a back office in Facebook, but they call it a dashboard. That's the only difference. That's the that's the that's how, how how Facebook has it as, you know. Wow, that's really yeah. neat. That is amazing. So you're creating a following with recipes. Yes. So so yes, anyone can do that. Yes. Okay, so if I'm yep. going to start, and I've never posted a recipe, I think I'll do that today. Maybe I should start yeah. with something that I know how to make already. Yes, yes. And this would be yes. my own recipe, like how to make scrambled eggs. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, yeah, true, true. You you can start um, because uh, yesterday I posted something about black uh, strawberries. But then that type of fruit come from like the Middle East and I got over a hundred likes on it. And it was just a picture and a, a, the one paragraph. That's it. Yeah. Oh my goodness, this crazy idea yes. just came to my mind. How about, okay, does everyone go to the grocery store here? Raise your hand. <laughs> okay. What about taking pictures of some products at the grocery store, like fresh produce, fresh fruit, vegetables? I'm just, I like my brain is tick, 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 tick. Tick tick tick. What do you think about that, Christopher? Because you because you put a, what fresh uh, black raspberries or something like that, and then you got yeah yes yes yeah, something like that. And I mm -hmm, I got a hundred plus likes on it. Oh my goodness! Yep. I'm going to the farmers market today. I got to get my yep. mom some bananas. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow. I don't yep. know. I'm thinking. Look, uh, yeah, Pinky's like, mm, the ideas are rolling. The new content, new exciting yep, content. Yep. And then, ah. then sometime I could put up a in like a picture of a cat, a squirrel, because I like animals. I'm an advocate for them. I just, you know, I just like pictures of them. That attracts people too. So it's different stuff you can post. Okay, was this a cat, a squirrel, like out in your yard, or now? Uh, 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 be because I'm a part of a lot of like group, hey fan pages or groups that's into animals and I'll download the picture then I upload it to my Facebook but if you pay attention I put my live good tuba link under that it'll, it'll say like awesome scroll or cute scroll and then that that's how I get pre enrollees too see that's smart marketing you know that's awesome yes. squirrel yes. Cute squirrel oh my gosh that is hilarious yeah, yeah. Awesome yeah. squirrel, furry squirrel, squirrel has yep. sharp claws. Oh my god! Yeah, you can yeah. really make it funny, actually. Yeah, yeah. Don't yeah. get too close to the squirrel, right? Okay. Nah, nah. <laughs> most girls will run from from you. From you, they're not gonna let you pick them up. You know, some people have them as pets, but but I, I think they're crazy. But I don't have nothing like that as a pet. Mm -mm. Um, okay, so don't get near the squirrel. Mm -mm. Um, also, I'm nah. thinking like, <laughs> this is funny. Also, I'm thinking if you um, get images and pictures, like you said, give the photographer where you got it from some credit. Okay. Yes. Um, yes. I remember one time, long time ago with a website I had, this is before my daughter was born. This is first time getting up on the internet. I don't know, 2005 or something. I posted a picture of a beagle with some money and it was just a funny picture. 
And um, um, I actually like got sent papers, you know, suing me for the picture that I posted. So mm -hmm. that was like, I, you know, so just memories that were like, oh my gosh, I cannot believe this. And um, so come to find out that it was just like, somebody sending me a, a scam of suing me for a picture it was just like uh, you know that it was a crazy scam it was something going on with people trying to get money yeah people getting scared or something like that um fearful yeah. posting yeah. pictures. I, but yeah. i would say go ahead and post the, where you got the picture giving the photographer uh or whoever you got the picture um like you said um a shout out yes yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So that was a crazy time with the beagle in the money picture. That was kind of weird. Um, so, right. uh, you know, I always think of, um, you never know, someone's um, uh, scamming others out there for traffic. And Christopher, maybe you can speak on that, too. Uh, lately, there's been uh, people going, hey, I'll I'll promote your website for a certain fee or or money or something like that. I've I've had people approach me on that too, and I'm like, last week, right? Yeah, I was scammed out of thirty dollars. This guy, I don't know, he have like a Korean name or something, but he said, "Oh, all right, pay him thirty dollars. He'll get traffic to my live good site." So I just did it as a test, right? This dude. It must be saying he want me to pay him $30 a month from some AI system. I just blocked him. I said, no, no, no. I'm not falling for that. You know, you got me once, but you're not getting me twice. <laughs> okay. You feel me? You're not, and... you're not scamming me to me twice. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. You know? Okay. So, so you did kind of send the money one time and you're like, yeah, oh, no, thanks. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, folks. I don't... didn't see results. Yeah, you can see in your statistics yeah. you're getting hits to your yes. site. That person must not know yeah. that we can see that. Is exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. um, exactly. So Christopher, you're on your way to Crown Diamond, which is yes. pretty amazing. And I know you're probably getting like pretty close. Um, yes. And you're still sponsoring, right? So yes. Yeah. And and here's some folks go, oh, go diamond, and you don't have to do all this stuff. It's good that, that you are staying very active in your business. Um, yeah. and so yes. Facebook, are you doing some other social media platforms? Um I do uh Instagram and TikTok, but I don't really like them platforms like that. I do them, you know, just to do them sometime. But it's mainly Facebook I do. Okay. Do you have it connected like Facebook will will connect to Instagram? And it's like it's not going to grab all your Facebook activity, but there is a way for you to link. Uh, yeah. Um, um. There's a button when you post on Instagram. You, there's a blue button you could click or unclick. And when you do that, you could have the Instagram posts on your uh, Instagram and Facebook at the same time. But I don't really like that feature because when I post on Facebook, I'll go to Instagram and post the same recipe. But then if I forget to uncheck that button, it'll post the recipe double. You know, it'll be like a double post. So that's why I don't like like that. Mm. I see. I see. So what are your, what is some of your next moves for building your live good business? That might be a tricky question, right? Cause we're always doing a lot of things. But um, what's on your um, mind? My, my next move is to pick a few pro products and promote those, but also I promote the free tour page too, because the free tour page work, but, what I notice when people see the products, you you have some people that's attracted to the products, and some people that's attracted to the business. You know, because I have I have more cus I got a lot of customers than I got a lot of um the uh, stripper too. Right. So, right. but but I have like fifty fifty between the both. I half of my 
team is distributors, half of them is customers. And then I noticed the customers reorder the products too after their first month. Mm -hmm. I started as a customer. <laughs> it's it's right. pretty wild. It's pretty wild. Uh, well, I tell you, we are right at the top of the hour. Um, if anyone has, I'm looking through the chat here to see if we have any particular questions for Christopher. Um, and I do, I did see someone posting that their Facebook is not on public and, and it is an individual choice, whether your Facebook is public or not, that is totally up to you. Uh, my social media is all about business and Christopher, I believe yours is too, all about business, but you put yes. in some, yes. you, some personal things too. So to create uh, you know, you have a Facebook group for specifically for recipes, right? A group. Yes. Okay. And then your page is mainly recipes, but I see you put in like some live good stuff, kind of like you. Pipe yes. It in. Yeah. Because when you do that, you attract an eyeballs on your business. Because some people, they don't like when you talk about business all day. That that That's not going to attract people. Now, you can post five times a day about your business, but you want to post stuff that's like, that give people something for free. So that's why I post the recipes. I actually post the full recipe. And then the people be like, oh, the recipe came out good. You know, and then them same people will come back and when they see your product, they will buy from you when you sleep in that night. You know, they'll they will purchase your product. Uh, you know, they'll either become a retail customer, customer or a business partner, you know? Mm -hmm. So yeah. so how will you uh how will you approach social media with the new product that was just launched? Um, the children's gummies. Um, well, I like I'll approach it like, um, we have a new product that launch, and it's like children's vitamins gummies, and and you can um, uh, like try the product. You know, mm -hmm. that's all. Right. Yeah. And, and, you know, just the going to your back office and taking a screenshot, but we've put a lot of pictures and screenshots of the product. Somebody can just really like grab that and put their link, you know, to their livegood.com forward slash username because it takes them to all the products. Yeah. Um, yeah. So as far as one of your favorite things to do on social media, what would these are random questions that I'm throwing at Christopher? These were not written down. He didn't know what Kelly is going to ask. Mm -hmm. What's one of your favorite things right now at the top of your head that I, I think I know what you're going to say already that you like to do on social media? My favorite thing is to post food and DIY ideas. Sometimes I'll post pictures of uh, people like of how to clean your oven or your floor. I do that sometimes, but, but I'm mostly into the food space. Yeah. The DIY. So if you're not for sure, yeah. they're not sure what DIY is, do it yourself. All right. Right. Love that. How to clean your oven. Oh my goodness. So I'm, I'm making a connection that a lot of these are educational posts. And these are things that I actually find uh, pretty fascinating myself, too, that I'll say, oh, let me learn something. Because we no longer have encyclopedias laying around, Funkin' Wagnalls. I used to have all those. Uh, so where do we get information and knowledge from? And that's where uh, the Internet came about, for one. Um, so mm -hmm. finding educational posts. All right. And that's going to get eyeballs. And that's going to get more followers and your potential to be paid by Facebook. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So educational DIY. So clean the oven. 
And I know we're right at the top of the hour, but any other particular DIY posts that you can think of? Um, you you could post stuff about like art, like arts and crafts too. That those type of posts attract people too. Arts like like on Facebook, you could type in arts and crafts um groups, and you'll see a lot of groups that's dedicated to that space. Oh man! Wow! And then, so yep. Yeah. DIY, arts and crafts, recipes, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, pictures of some animals, right? Yes. Uh, the fruit and produce. I'm going to go to yes. the market and take some pictures of some uh, produce and talk about, talk about that fruit. You could actually, oh my goodness, yes. another connection. You can actually get a picture of, oh, there's that crazy looking fruit. What's it like? Dragon mm. fruit? That looks yeah, like, yeah, wow. dragon fruit. Yep. See, that would be a that would be a great post because I have no clue what that is, what it might do. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, research that particular fruit or vegetable. That would right. be educational. I can see you doing that dragon fruit when we get off the phone, get off the Zoom here. <laughs> right. Who's going to be the first one to do dragon fruit when we get off here? Okay. That's awesome, Chris. Right. So, so tell it, I know we're at the top of the hour. And I said that a fourth time. So tell us what has been so fun for you. Now we're kind of off the social media, uh, uh, being diamond and no, I know we heard Ben Glinsky talk about your, your fun money that you're creating with live good. And, uh, mm -hmm. if, if, you know, folks aren't aware of that. Um, Christopher has reached the well surpassed the multiple uh, six figure level here uh, with mm -hmm. Livgood, and the monthly monthly has been amazing for you. What are some What yes. are some of the things that um, you know? You know, put us in dream mode right now. Put us in like, oh, I want to know. I well, want to. Christopher, are you, well, what are you doing? <laughs> well, um, some some of the things I like to do, I'm a humanitarian. I like to help people, but also I like to, like, you know, like spend money on, on my family, you know, enjoy life, you know, buy clothes, stuff like that. So you've but, been helping your family out a lot here with your live good monies. Yes. But at the same time, I'm a very humble person. Like, like when I was working my full time job a, a whole lot, I was humble. Even when the money I'm making in live good, I'm still humble. I'm the same person. Money hasn't changed me. Mm -mm. Yeah. and I Money hasn't changed me. It does give you more uh tools more resources to make things happen faster if if that makes sense yeah you know? when the, at the beginning of school year you helped out uh, many families with um school supplies and back back to school things and that was so sweet for you doing that yeah yeah. Well, we love Christopher Hopkins and we love all your ideas that let me go ahead, put it on. Uh, let's see on the gallery, all our wonderful, wonderful folks here on the zoom learning from you today. And uh, some of the ideas that you had um, uh, given us here. And I'm looking at the chat to see if there were any particular questions. Um, and if we had, let's see. Um, if we have any particular questions, let's see, I'm looking at where, let's see, da, 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 da. uh, do you put the link in comments or in the picture? Oh, good question. You know what? I see people do both of those. What's your thought on that, Christopher? You know, when you post something, uh, some people put the link right up, right. Oh, in. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What I do, I'll pick the link in in the post but sometimes i put it in the comments because they say when you put the link in the comments people see the link more you know mm -hmm. 
I, yeah. would, I would say for someone to experiment on that with their own wall, like one day put a link in the post and then another day put the link in the comments and see, you know, mm -hmm. do, do you see a difference? All right. All right. Love it. Can you get monetized if your Facebook is on professional mode? Yes. You you can. You just got to follow the step in your dashboard because they'll tell you, it gives you different tasks to complete each day. Like if you respond to like 10 people comments, uh, if you, you know, uh, like, um, you know, if people share your posts a certain amount of times like that. Mm hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, one moment. I got to remove. They are removed. All right. We had some funny business going on here. All right. Um. Yeah. I love it, Chris. Yeah. Let me see. I'm looking. Christopher got a question per day. How many posts are value and how many are offer? What's that? Okay. Well, value or offer? How many are? I'm not sure what that means. The, um, well, um, I'll I'll say this. Mm -hmm. I'll say about ten of my posts is maybe value, and then I'll post maybe about three times a day about my business. That's what or they mean by offer, like business or products. Yeah. Oh, you're so smart, Chris. Yeah, that is, yeah, value or offer. I like that. Mm -hmm. Learn something new yeah. every day. Yeah. Right. Let's see if we can find some more uh, questions here. Um, Sonia, if you want your Facebook private, it's okay. Let's just leave it be that like that. Keep it private if you want it private. All right. Let's see what else. What else? I want people all over the world seeing my Facebook. I want, yeah. people, guess what? Hey, Christopher, what I've done, and I need to get back to doing this. And when you make a paragraph, take it to Google and translate it into like two other languages. Right. Ooh, we honey, honey, honey. That's yeah. true. Jennifer just had a moment, didn't you, girl? Uh, yeah. You, you, if you make a post, uh two three sentences you know uh i'm just saying just start with two three sentences um matter of fact i did this at the very very beginning and that's how i got a lot of business in uh, uh germany france uh, italy uh is i put it in multiple languages uh vietnamese uh you know so just yeah um, Christopher, how do you think you're tapping into an international market? Because I know I'm going to get back to doing that. Every single post I make, go translate it into two other languages. Yep. And then you can put it within the same post. Mm -hmm. um, you know, maybe not three languages on one post, but you may yes. say, hey, for my, for my um, uh, Vietnamese community, Da, 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 da. you know for my french community put it da, 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 right so how would you uh christopher how would you feel that your process of reaching international business how can you do that well when when i'm posting a lot of my posts is being seen by people in europe africa and asia so it's like a lot of people outside of the United States supporting the stuff that I post. So sometimes when you get people like from different countries, that's your, that's even your Facebook profile. Facebook shows you all that in your insights or in your um reports in your dashboard. It, it tells you exactly that. It'll say like 30% U.S., 20% Europe, 30% Africa, et cetera, like that. Right, right. Um, and I love it how Quan, Quan is mentioning how, you know, fresh eyeballs. Uh, yeah, fresh yes. eyeballs on your Facebook at all times. Fresh eyeballs. You cannot get fresh eyeballs on your Facebook if you were set to private. Mm-mm. Mm 
Because private is like if you only want your family to see it and certain friends, but when you go public, everybody see your posts. And even people that's followers or people that's their friends will see your posts. That's yeah. what public is. My Facebook always been on public, period. Because that's what attracts people to you. See, I'm not scared of people. So I, I don't got nobody stalking me. So I'm not going to have minds on private. That's just in my opinion. You know? Come on. Yeah. <laughs> I love mm -hmm. it. You're not, no one's stalking you, Chris. Oh, mm -hmm. I love it. Yeah, really. Mm -hmm. You are not an internet marketer if, you're, if your uh, Facebook is on private. Now, if you want it on private and you just want to, you know, reach out to your uh, friends, whatever, 400, 500 feed. friends or what I would say, Christopher, would you say you want to get maxed out on Facebook, the 5000 friends? Yes. Yes. You want to get maxed out to, to 5000 friends. But then after that, you want to tell people just to follow you because like. I'm not sure how many friends I got, but I know I'm in a few thousands, but I got over 102,000 followers. That's because I tell people to follow me. And then, you know, they, they sharing the stuff I post, so then their people is following me. So, and Facebook tells you all that in your notifications. Mm -hmm. I love yeah. it. I love it. Um, yeah. And, and, you know, hey, if you want a uh, pub, if you want a private page, you know, with some family members, you know, you can make an additional page just for family members. I know some people that do that. Um, as far as getting uh, maxing out your Facebook friends, um, I would say, you know, make sure they're real people that you're uh, your your Facebook. Friends. Exactly. Real <laughs> people. Just and not scammers, not scammers, because you have a lot of those idiots out there too. And once I find out a person's a scammer, I block them. They could comment with me. Two minutes later, I just blocked them because I could tell because they'll take a picture from a magazine or from Google, put on as a profile picture, and you know that picture looked too darn good for that to be a real person. Come on now, I'm just gonna block you, especially them fools that talk about crypto. I block them instantly. I don't got time for, for that scamming stuff. I'm not investing nothing in no fake website that they made on some internet hosting service. Not me. Not me. Mm -mm. Yeah, when yeah, when you friend someone, then instantly they're coming at you. Uh hi. It, it, yes, inside your inbox about some other stuff, you know. <laughs> yeah, 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 and and then also before you yeah. respond, you know these messages that you get that are not in your contacts. They go to a special section. Before you respond, you can actually look at their. I believe you can look at their profile. And, yes, you can. And seeing a profile that was just made, I check the date when the pictures were posted. Check the date when the profile was made. Right. It's just like one of those things like, oh, this is interesting. Uh, yeah, that's another thing to you know, make sure you've got some real people on your Facebook wall, right? Um, yeah, block, uh, block really quickly when they run at you about crypto. I'm just saying, just be careful on that. Um, yeah. Just block them and you don't need to, uh, Christopher, I don't think you waste time with a bunch of conversation with uh, someone who's not, nah, no, nah. don't mm -mm. Yeah. folks don't waste mm -mm. time on that. All right. Yep. Christopher, we have learned a lot. I'm looking through the chat. Uh, how do you know is a scam? <laughs> Sometimes you just got to kind of go with uh, a lot of times folks that know when something's a scam these days, because they've been through trial and error, they've touched the hot stove and they're like, oh, okay, I've learned my lesson on that. So how do you know? Um, you, hey, you know what's super fun? I don't know, Christopher, if you've ever done this, someone's messaging to me about crypto. I'll click the call button. <laughs> Oh yeah, you you want to call them to see I'm if like, they will pick up if, if they're a real person. I understand. <laughs> and you know what? Yeah. They won't they won't pick up. Oh, it's funny. I'm yeah. like, okay, you gone. 
but I don't do that that much. So I'm not going to waste time. Yeah. But I'm just saying that whenever you want some good giggles, some fun moments, click and call, <laughs> click and call. I was just calling you. I wanted a new friend. Okay. <laughs> They'll be like, no. Okay. So uh, that's funny. I love seeing JR laugh, Jennifer laugh. Yep. Yep. We making you laugh here. Okay. What else? Any other questions? Uh, Let's see. We asking Chris for questions, but I'll ask this to Chris. Where do you get your content that you post outside of your videos? Well, we just, well, we just gave so many ideas. What you got, Chris? Well, on Facebook, you got to search recipe groups and you'll get hundreds of them. Now, what I do, I pick like the top four or top five. And a lot of them groups will allow you to share the like copy the recipes and use them at your discretion. As long as you give credit to that group owner. But I even find out in the recipe groups, they copying recipes from somewhere else and posting it in there. So you know, you know, so that's how I get get the recipes. Mm -hmm. Yep. And, uh, and yeah. I'm sorry, go ahead. But 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 then what I find out when I post recipes, I have some scammers. They will jump on my recipe and say, oh, contact this person. And but they'll have a fake profile that's connected to some person that's scamming people. So what I do, I'll check through there and I will actually block them for that to keep my Facebook clean. Because if you don't, some of them people will actually go through your friends list and send your friends friend requests. And you know, and and that's not good. Mm -mm. That's right. not. Yeah, I've noticed like, say if it's my wall, somebody else's wall, there'll be the same person putting the same comment down through like yep. five to eight people. And you gotta yep. go in and block that person and then report their uh, report their comment. Uh, comment, yeah. And you gotta delete the comments. Yep. It's like, oh, exactly. goodness. and they post the same thing, a link to go check out someone else's. I don't know. It's weird. Um, but yeah. uh, just another thing, another um, um, place to block. Uh, <laughs> Jenny says, pray, pray over your profile. That's a good idea right there. Uh-huh. I like that. Oh, Maria was laughing about, uh, I shared a, a donut daddy recipe post. <laughs> <laughs> okay now that's some funny stuff i even okay so chris free probably don't know who donut daddy is but so anyways you can you can uh you can uh uh <laughs> search him out he's fun mm. he's in australia he'll like oh. he'll post some bakery stuff and then yeah i think uh he does some kind of like mm, uh seductive seductive cooking is that a good way to put it mm -hmm. and, it's, <laughs> and it drives all the ladies crazy um uh, so uh yeah but so anyway someone someone says you didn't bring up donut daddy okay so he's actually funny too um but so uh every now and then i kind of like add throw some spice into my profile uh, keep it spicy. Don't keep it. We don't want nothing dull, boring, dying, everything, all that. We don't want anything like just, ah, uh, you're going to put people to sleep on your social media. Um, just keep things fun and festive and positive. I think might, mm -hmm. might be a good avenue, but hey, you do you, boo. Um, yeah. So Christopher, um, what do you think about my idea? Go and everybody find a picture of dragon fruit today at the uh, grocery store. <laughs> well, I think that's a good idea. That, that's a great idea. Okay. They could take a picture of it and post it. You know? So, uh, and you could use like, the hashtag dragon fruit. Hashtag dragon fruit. Oh my goodness, mm -hmm. you got me looking up dragon fruit. Is that the fruit that I saw that just is a wild, is wild dragon fruit? Hold on. Yep, that's it. It looks like a flower. Okay, so think right. of content, fun stuff, uh, just different, unique things. I'm finding Facebook, uh, things go viral when it's like unique. 
Um, uh, so yes. this, this might be a this might be a an I extra idea. Everybody, remember, everybody went grocery shopping here, so go, go find something uh, pretty unique, and you can find more content. Yeah, Tim's like you do you boo. <laughs> All right, cactus tree. Oh, cactus tree. Oh, what about it's like plants and special gardening things? Uh, wow. Let me tell you, if someone says, how do I find content? Man, the world is your oyster. You is Everything is content. Uh, everything is content. I mean, I could post a picture, how to hold up your cell phone and put this gadget, right? And uh, wow, very, very uh, interesting gadget. This right here, woo. -hoo. I mean, content is everywhere, right? Okay, so let's see what else. Uh, let me go ahead and bring Tim back on the line. Oh my goodness, Christopher, you are so amazing. And we love everything that you're bringing to the table here uh, in Live Good. Um, and you, if you haven't found Christopher Hopkins on Facebook, definitely, hey, go check it out. Man, over 100,000 followers. Uh, wow, wow, wow. And, you know, hey, grab some of the recipes and, and share on your page. And, and so pretty, pretty amazing. Let's go ahead in the uh, in the chat. Let's give it up. The fire signs in the chat for Christopher Hopkins. Christopher, what number diamond are you? Do you know that? That was five or six or four. Where did Christopher go? Chris. Oh, he muted, asked to unmute. I'm uh, number five, Diamond, number five. Number five, awesome, awesome. Well, we love you, Christopher, and we cannot wait to um, see you at an event one day when you are yes. able to fly and, and come yes. out, because we've got Miami coming on, let's see, that's May 25th, right, everybody? All right. And mm -hmm. so let me see. Let me get my calendar out. Yeah. May 25th. Um, the link for the Miami event is out there in a lot of Facebook groups as well. Uh, I've got my flight uh, booked and maybe one day, Christopher, we can see you out there. Um, that would be great. And then yes. also, also Dallas, Texas coming up. Okay. Yeah, in the Grapevine area at the Embassy Suites, Grapevine. That's an all-day Super Saturday on June June 15th. June 15th at the Embassy Suites in Grapevine. So be sure to check the groups uh, for the information on that. Uh, it's a Super Saturday, um, all-day like training, fun stuff, right? And uh, yeah. let's go ahead and unmute Christopher. Thank you so much again. And we got some good, um, good ideas as far as, you know, if people need to get to their dashboard on Facebook, go through the steps so you can, hey, if you want to earn money with Facebook, have at it and keep your posts fresh and new and fun. Um, yeah. And um, public. <laughs> If you're private, that's up to you. All right, uh, let's see. Let me go ahead and we still got folks coming into the room here. Uh, let me go. Let me, Tim Miller, are you here with us still? Here we go. Hold on one moment. And Tim can, let's see. Let me find Tim to unmute himself. All right. Christopher, if you're still there, what you got planned for today while I'm finding Tim? Elite, team elite. Uh, ask to unmute. All right, Tim, I am unmuting you. Unmute. Uh, I still see two accounts for team elite. Mm -hmm. Kelly, can you hear me okay? I can. But... Hey, awesome. Hey, I didn't know Christopher had such a sense of humor. This has been a just a fun call. And that's what I like about these Saturday calls. We all just get together. Kelly, you really got me when you said, just do you, boo. <laughs> I was cracking I need, up. I need a T-shirt that says, just do you, boo. I'm sure it's hey, made We somewhere. should get live good T-shirts and say, just do you, boo. 
Yes. Yes. Oh. No, I know you can make it happen. Hey, I don't have anything for everybody. Just say, listen, my bags are packed. I am uh, looking so much forward to Miami. Uh, my friend in Miami told me it was 93 degrees last week. So bring your, your swimsuits, your swim trunks. I guess probably if you stay a while, we hit the beach one day while we're there. I'm actually going in early. I'll be there Thursday. Uh, yeah, Thursday night. Kelly, when are you coming in? Uh, let's see. Friday morning. Friday morning. Yeah, we just everybody's gonna be there. Guys, we got people coming in from LA. We got people coming in from Spain. We have people coming in from New York. It's going to be wild. And our events are just so much fun because everybody gets treated the same. And that's really again, I'm gonna say that it's it's just how we just love on each other. This company's gonna be here for the next five, ten years. But what I wanted to cover real quick before we hop off here, we're getting winding down the month and I know some of you get frustrated. You sign people up and they don't pay their membership. Listen, guys, I had a conversation. This, this Someone was trying to be slick last night and hit me up. And they're seeing all of my posts. And she says to me, she says, Tim. And I messaged her back and said, what's up? And she said, uh, I see Live Good is, is blowing up. I said, yeah, they're blowing up. Absolutely, we're blowing up. She said, well, I used to be in Live Good, but I, I stopped paying my membership. And um, I'm working something else. You tried to hit me with the other program, and I, I literally obliterated that thing. And I'm like, you know, you're not going to win jumping company to company. Uh, it, it's just not going to happen. Do you, though? But here, here's what I don't know if you understand. You know you're still a member of Live Good. And she said, but what do you mean? I'm not a member. I quit. I said, no, no, no. You, you don't understand Live Good. See, when you join Live Good and you pay that affiliate fee, you are a member for life. So if anybody ever tells you that they quit Live Good, it is a lie. It is not true. I told her to go log into her back office. Now, she's been out of the company for six months, not paying her membership. So what happened? All that happened was she was removed from the matrix. Somebody on a level below her moved up into her position. Where people get it confused is people think that because they don't have any spillover, there's nobody under them. When they leave the company, nobody moves in their spot. That is not true. That is why that whole matrix can shift because what can happen is somebody will not pay their membership. End of the month comes along. They're taken out. It becomes an open hole. The computer's going to look on the next level, not under them. It could be somebody's sideline. Okay. I want everybody to understand this. This is what happened with my dear friend, Hope. Hope stuck with it. She stayed with it. She wasn't making a lot of money. I don't even know if she was making a hundred dollars a month, but you know what? I told her, just stick with it. Hope you're awesome. You're awesome. She stuck with it and stuck with it. Well, last month, what happened? Well, a month before last, what happened? Somebody quit. Somebody didn't pay, well, they didn't pay their membership. Tori Russell, who is a diamond in the company, not even in her organization, folks. He was on the level below her somewhere. Not her matrix, the company. See, I, you guys got to teach. They, that's why I tell people, pay your membership. I don't care what you pay that before you pay your rent. You can go home with four, but you better pay that $10. Because you come out that matrix, you never know what's going to happen. So, Curry rolled up, and his entire organization is now under hope in that matrix. So, her check jumped like crazy overnight, and she's going to get that residual income every single month. So, to make a long story short, I was talking to Joan. I said, hey, go log in your back office. She logged in. She said, oh, okay, I do have a back office. I said, yeah, you're still in Live Good. You just came out the membership. She had four people she had personally signed up when she was in. I said, they're still your people. You're still going to get the 50% matching them. And if they're building, you're going to get the generational matches. Oh, really? Well, she kind of forgot about that other company she's in and paid her membership. So don't get bent out of shape if somebody doesn't. You're looking at back office at the end of the month. And you say, oh, I got three people. I got 10 people. I got 15 people. They quit. No, they didn't. Just hit them up in the messenger and say, hey, you need to pay your $9.95 or you're going to come out this matrix. And that's it. And trust me, they will hit you back because that's fear loss. Nobody wants to lose anything. But I don't think people really grasp or understand what we have here. People think because they because they have old school mentality of network marketing, where in any other company, if you don't pay your membership, which is typically if you don't pay your auto ship, you don't buy a product that month. Now, I've been doing this 30 years, and that's how it works. You, you have to pay your membership or or what, if it's a service, you pay that service. Whatever it is, you have to pay something every month. Here at Live Good, $9.95 a month or $99.95 a year. But when you pay that $40, you're an affiliate for, for life. 
Okay, the only thing happens when you don't pay it, you come out the matrix and it collapses. Okay, and it's done and it's permanent. Nobody can get their old position back. We had to deal with that one time. No, you don't get it. Once you collapse, it collapse. pay the nine ninety five membership and let your people know that. I want to stress that to you guys, and don't get frustrated when people don't. I've had people in this company literally have left, gone off into la la land, kept having their memberships though, but they started working other deals, promoting other deals. The hottest new silver, great, great. Go on, burn. Go, go. You, sometimes I say it all the time. How many times are you gonna get hit upside your head? With the two by four, before you figure out your head is hurting. See, everybody in network marketing, except the 3%, the head is hurting. They're paying that monthly membership. They're paying $60, $80, $100 a month for product. I was looking at one yesterday, $129 a month. Are you crazy? That's not duplicatable. I was looking at another one. Somebody sent me something on some $900 instant commission. So I'm like, really? That means to tell me what you're selling. And this is an upgrade tier deal. But I'm like, the commission's coming from somewhere. People are buying something. And I'm like, what's the product? And they like social media marketing. I said, we give that to our team for free. What you just heard from Christopher Hopkins, he could sell for $999 all day long. We do it for our members free, regardless of group, regardless of team, regardless of downline. So get your people on these calls on Saturdays. Monday is the, what is that, uh, Kelly? They, they, it's going to be a good one. They're going to go over the gummies Monday, right? Uh, yeah, that's what I hear. And then yep. also, there's a Latino. Um, oh, yeah. I was going to announce another, that. Absolutely. Go ahead. Another Latino conference. I know three o'clock, three o'clock East Coast time. So look out for that. Um, and I think uh, Nader is going to be the guest now when our director of network marketing is going to be on that call. He'll also be in Miami. Now, he's part owner of the company, guys. So this is somebody you definitely want to shake hands with and get a picture with. But, yeah, get on that. Now, I'm going to tell everybody, if you get on the Latino call, I'm going to post it today. Uh, get on early because it packed out a thousand people. Once it, they their room holds a thousand. Once it hits a thousand, you can't get on. So I would get on that thing 20, 15 minutes early, wouldn't you think? Yeah, definitely. Um, All right, oh, yeah, I'm done, gotta, Kelly. Got to post that. Um, the, here's the. Let me see. I can share that. Uh, but if you guys get anything from this call, I hope you realize. Say these knuckleheads are having too much fun. Yeah, we having fun. Let's see. Let me share my screen. This is the uh, when you see this post right here, share it with your link. Right. So I'm sharing the screen. This is a uh, this will be uh, it's equivalent to East Coast time Monday at three o'clock. And we'll share oh. it. With, we'll, sh we'll share it with all the time zones. Kelly, so, let me say this too, guys. Everybody get out your own way. This is not the old typical uh, money grabbing MLM that you're used to. If you've been in MLM, guys, we don't take reps. We don't steal reps. You can send people, you can post that Miami event, have the people show up. You can say, Hey, when you get there, make sure you meet Kelly or make sure you meet Tim or make sure you meet Gustavo or make sure you meet Yami or make sure you meet Claudia or any, we're going to take care of your people. Okay. We're going to say who invited you. What's the, we're going to don't, Nobody's going to take your reps. I know how some of you feel. It's just like when you see somebody's posts and people are say, um, they got this or that. You can still use it. Guys, nobody's going to take from nobody. Like people would come to me and say, oh, the company's marketing. And you know, we got the co-op coming out. But so what? They're not taking anything you don't have. If I have somebody on my Facebook that I shared it with and they want to go join Kelly or Josh, who's not even in my organization. I don't care. Why? Because I ranked up the bank up. When you're diamond, you get paid on everything. Do you guys realize that if you go diamond, you're going to get a piece of my organization, whether you're in my organization or not. You're going to get a piece of Kelly's organization. You're going to get a piece of Christopher Hopkins' organization because you're going to override the entire company. That's why we say one team, one dream. It doesn't matter whose organization sideline. The bigger live good gets, guys, the bigger we all grow. Always remember that. And nobody can take from you. Anything that's yours is yours. God designed it that way. But it was meant for you, it's for you. And I'm going to tell you, if you got people that that, that have the, the, the audacity to sign up with somebody else, you didn't lose nothing. You didn't lose nothing because you know what? Ethically, it's not going to work for them anyways. Because everybody has what I call a conscious. Everybody has a conscious. You just build your business. Focus on get to. That makes you bronze. Get all your money back your hole. Get to.
Now, what do we do? We help to, they want to be helped. We can't push rope. And then keep duplicating that, get two more. And then focus on silver. See, when I joined the company, here's what I did, Kelly. I know you did it. I watch you. We said, okay, what's it take to get the bronze? We didn't fuck. We our big picture was diamond, right? But our focus was on, I got bronze. It's easy. Two people. Okay, boom, boom. Now, what's silver? Okay, I got to have three people, three legs with a bronze, which is just two. That's easy. Total 20. Let's go. Boom. Next step, gold. You focus on your next rank. Don't focus on Tim Miller money or Kelly's money or Chris's money. Focus on you. Let's go through the basics. Right now, if you're unranked, focus on bronze. When you hit bronze, focus on silver. Then focus on gold. If you do it that way, you will be a diamond in this company. And stay focused. I'm not going to get here and beat nobody up. If you want to work other programs, that's totally fine. The only time I start knocking stuff is when I see scams. I'll say it publicly. There's no company that you can join for a one-time fee, and they're going to pay you daily interest. It's not going to last. It's going to crash. I'm saying it publicly. I say it on my Facebook wall. I don't care whose toes I step on. I am sick of that mess. And I've seen a lot of people get burned, and especially when I start seeing this stuff going into countries like the Philippines. And I see it going in, in the places, and I'm not saying just picking them out Vietnam. And I see that stuff, and I said, these people, you know, a, a $50 paycheck to them is, is a bag of rice for a full family. A $50 paycheck is, 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 is food for a month for a family. And when I start seeing those people being taken advantage of, when I start seeing those people out taking out loans to get into a, a, a straight Ponzi scheme, they can sell it any way they want to. And I know a lot of people in Live Good get hit up from these groups. Guys, you got to be able to recognize that stuff and say, if it's too good to be true, it's not true. And I know I'll turn it back to you, Kelly, because you know me. I'll stop talking. I'm, I'm just having too much fun. I love being with y'all. But Kelly knows we've all been there, done that. I don't make it public because I'm embarrassed about it. I put five grand in a company called Zeke Rewards and lost all of it. I never recruited anybody in it, but it was a Ponzi. Straight up made no sense. Hey, get in. I put 5000 in. They said all I had to do is, is click this auction, penny auction every day. That's all I had to do. And I'm thinking, okay, if I could just click and make this money, they're going to pay me X amount of dollars a day. Just, okay, let's go for it. I put 5000 in. I click that thing every day. Next thing I know, the site's cut off. And I've seen it over and over and over again. So on that note, love you guys. We're having fun. Please, if you can, get to Miami. And I'll turn it back to you, Kelly. Love yeah. you guys. Love you, Tim. Yeah, get to Miami. Uh, wow. So uh, wow. mark your calendars, everybody. May. Okay, I just put a, on the screen there some of the dates and some of the banners that are floating around uh, for the... Um, Miami and Dallas. So those are the two right now, Miami and Dallas. I am actually looking at putting something together, probably a meet and greet like at a restaurant here in the Charlotte, North Carolina area. So I will let everybody know about that as I get that fixed up. So, hey, no matter where you are, everybody here, uh, whether you're uh, live or watching the replay, you can start something in your own area. Um, I'd recommend you pull a few people together in your area and you can kick it off. Seriously, you kick it off just like uh, Janet Lloyd, Tina Dodson did for uh, Dallas uh, Texas area, they they kicked it off and man, had a, like a dinner at this fabulous steak restaurant. Uh, we had about 50 people. Jesse Garcia flew in, I flew in and we just like, man, everybody don't know where people are in the organization. We just had a good time, ate some steak and hung out. Um, and now they're having a super Saturday, right? Janet's going to be going to the embassy suites, maybe film, filming a few little snippets of the hotel. A beautiful place, embassy suites. We did lots of videos in their atrium. So uh, we're probably going to do that again. Uh, great videos there with uh, uh, JR, Janet, Tina Dodson, uh, James R. Davis Sr. I'm kind of looking at the screen here. Don't want to miss someone. Um, lots of great videos. So we plan on doing that again. All right. Um, 
Yeah. So what else can I say? The timing is so important right now with this business. I can say uh, from my own self that I'm so glad that I got to work when I did and I'm still working today. Of course, um, I've sponsored four people in the month of May, personally sponsored. So my goal, a new person every single week, Every single week, that's seven days. We know a new a new member affiliate every single week. Um, uh, that that's my goal, or maybe you know two in a week. That's whatever your goals are. Um, but I'll tell you right now, uh, things are pretty busy. That uh, I now am I, I take care of my mother uh, uh, quite a bit here with my time. Um, and I'm so fortunate be, to be able to do that. Uh, um, I'm going to uh, go help her uh, uh, take a shower here in just a moment. And, um, you know, I'm just saying, I now I don't have to worry about going into the public school. I don't have to ask somebody, can I have some time off to take care of my family? You got to think about what you want for yourself, your family, your future, uh, however, you know, what your goals are. I don't know if you're looking at a couple extra hundred dollars a week, a couple thousand dollars a month. I don't know. But right now, I tell you that you never know who you're going to touch in this business. Okay. Who's looking for what you have? You have to plant those seeds today, now, go for it, don't wait, don't care about the nose, I don't care about the side eyes, I don't care about, it. you know what, I'm going to share this with every single person that I come across, okay, I'm going to have my information, my link, because you never know that I have told this to you, if you've heard this before, what I'm saying, you never know who was praying last night for an opportunity to come their way. Before Live Good, I said, thank you, Lord, for bringing an opportunity to, for, to work for myself and for my family. Thank you. So, And I still give thanks and every single day give thanks. And who can you help today? Who can you help? Because you never know that I'm so fortunate. Matter of fact, I told Nodder, Nodder yesterday, I said, this business has blessed me. I'm now able to bless my family, be with my family, uh, my mother that needs me. And I just like, I'm so happy to be able to do that. Every day, I'll be picking her up, taking her for, you know, blood work, lab work, all the stuff that we got to do every day. So here's the thing, planning ahead of time on to making sure that she has, you know, transportation. Now I'm still, I'm going to get to Miami and get on back. Okay. The thing is, the thing is, you never know the seeds that you're planting today, how you're going to help somebody else in their own life. And thank you, Christopher Hopkins, for saying yes. Now is the time, this is what I said in Vegas, you need to contact the person that told you about Live Good and say, thank you for saying yes, because you are impacting my life and the lives of other people. You never know. Uh, you never know if your sponsor is, I don't know, your sponsor may not even be active. I think you should still message them and say, thank you for saying yes. All right. Because we're growing all over the world. This is helping myself, helping other people. And uh, I tell you the, the testimony, I could keep on going on and on, but if anything, you take away here now, the sense of urgency to build your business. And I say, I do something every single day in my business, every single day. And uh, you know what? Some of the seeds that I plant today may be coming up next week, may be coming up next month. I've had two people from my high school. Hello, I graduated in 1989. Okay, do the math on that if you want. Uh, <laughs> that joined me and lived good like last week. That's crazy because they've been watching. Okay. And uh, like, wow, that's pretty amazing. So plant your seeds, 
And you know what? It, it, it's just going to be, it's just going to be amazing. Plant your seeds and, and don't be like digging the dirt up under it, taking a peek. Plant those seeds, water it, nurture, nurture everything that you're doing, okay? All right. And Vicki, I love that kitty cat that you got going on. Oh, uh, wow. Okay. So, all right, everybody, man, I am just, I just want to give all the love and the kisses and the virtual hugs to each and every one of you today. And uh, we've learned a lot. I tell you the winners that are on the line and I know, I know it's right now. It's within you that you have it. You got this. Go back on my timeline. You can see where I celebrated when I went silver, when I went gold, when I went platinum. I'm just saying you will reach those levels. Do something every single day. You're not checking results today. You are seeing who you can help, who you can share the info with. And you just, I'm just saying, just every single day, say, I'm going to do something every single day in my business. All right, with that, Love you, Tim. Love you, Christopher Hopkins. Love every one of you. Oh my goodness, big hearts. Pinky, I love how you got the heart up there. And Roman, Gloria, thank you. Everybody put the hearts out. Give that love out today, right away. Don't hold on to it. You never know who needs to see that smile and your vibes with that. Go with love. Love you. Bye, everybody.